Hello Arch Woman O. Bo is going to be in this review whether I like it or not because today he won't be quiet. So today I'm reviewing Diptyque's, I don't know if I'm going to get this right, Doosan? Dosan? Dosan? I'm not sure. I think it's probably Japanese but I'm not sure how to pronounce it at all so somebody please correct me underneath that would be really good uh, in the comments I mean. So Diptyque, um, I reviewed one of their fragrances before which was Philosikos, which was the fig leaf kind of coconutty perfume. This one, when I went into the Diptyque store, not really knowing who they were, and it was probably about three years ago as well, I walked into this shop in Bond Street and it was this gorgeous white thing, very simplistic and lovely and there's candles everywhere and this was the first thing I picked up to smell. Um, and it just so happens that I'm a tuberose lover. This fragrance is based around tuberose. And unfortunately, because I was so taken by this fragrance, I didn't smell anything else at the time. I just went, okay, that's enough. Okay, bye. So I'm all, I've always been a fan of tuberose. I've not made any bones about it. Uh, and when I smelled this, I fell in love. I didn't get it until only a couple of months ago. This is... Gorgeous! This is a white floral fragrance. It's floral, obviously. It came out in 2000 and... Does that say five or nine? My writing sometimes is completely illegible. I write like a five-year-old. But speak like a ten-year-old, at least. I think it says five. I don't know. Look it up. Does it matter? The fragrance is here. Yeah, I know. Well, put it As I looked over him then, he went across his little perch and went, went back again. It's like he knows he's in trouble. So, if you're not familiar with tuberose already, it is a white flower, it is not shy and retiring, it's always, if it's in a fragrance, it's always there, it's always present. You can notice it, it doesn't really give a lot of other things a lot of chance to shine. Um, and I've said a few times before as well, I'm not sure if you're watching one of my reviews for the first time, but if you are, welcome. If not, tuberose kind of comes in a few different forms. When it's... In vintage kind of fragrances, it tends to be a lot more heady and syrupy and luscious. Um, I prefer tuberose in um, uh, I prefer tuberose in more modern fragrances. Personally, I like it when it's paired with a fresher kind of composition, and that's exactly what this is, and that's exactly why I wanted to get it as soon as I smelled it. My second signature fragrance is Michael Kors. I've reviewed that before. That is really heavy on the tuberose and it kind of smells like this, but this one seems to be kind of like a more refined version of tuberose and I absolutely love it. So, mine's the Eau de Parfum version. It does come in Eau de Toilette as well. I've not smelled the differences. Sometimes I haven't. I can't comment on the differences. I just always make a beeline for Eau de Parfum. I don't know, there's something in my head that makes me think that it's gonna be better, which is not always the case. But um, in terms of this, I absolutely love it. The bottle is gorgeous. I'll show you it from here, the front and back, because the back is actually nicer than the front. It's got this around here, what does it say? Du Sun, Eau de Parfum Floral. It's got all of the ingredients in French. Let's try this, shall we? Tuberose, that's tuberose. Uh, fil d'oranger, that is, I'm guessing, orange leaves, which is uh, petit grain, I'm guessing. Orange leaves, twigs, that is petit grain. It's the kind of, it kind of smells a little bit like lavender. Um, then you've got bays, roses, I'm not sure. Rose, obviously, but um, there's obviously a specific kind of rose going on there. Uh, musk, oh my god, I'm so dumb. It says it in English, right underneath. Tuberose, orange leaves, pink peppercorns, musk. That's what it says on here. So, <laughs> quite a nice simple composition. Uh, and let me show you the back of the bottle because it's lovely. Uh, Do some, like I said, I'm sure it must be Japanese because the liquid's going to get in the way. But this has, it looks like a Japanese building here. It's got typical sails. It might even be Vietnamese, I'm not sure. And some foliage. It's really, really gorgeous anyway. I do think, why didn't they make this part of it clear so you could see the image, but, you know, that's what happens. And then the front of it, yeah, it's got somebody, I thought it was somebody having a massage there. There's a lady sitting down. 
but then I realised there's a ball there and a ball there. Anyway, it's got uh, the address, 34 Boulevard Saint-Germain, Diptyque, Paris. So if you're ever in Paris, go and check their shop out. So let me spray this on my hand. I don't know if I've said this already, I might have, but this is an absolute joy to wear. This is one of my fragrances where it gives me a confidence boost. It is not necessarily always the powerhouse fragrances that give you a confidence boost. It's not always about that. It's just a certain kind of smell, isn't it? It doesn't have to be something that's mega strong to make me feel confident. It's, it's great. That's why I love perfume so much. So this is their description. Tuberose exerts itself, expressing all its sunny, hazy, creamy, indolent seductiveness. Anyone with blood in their veins will succumb to the irresistible temptation of this insolent, seductive white flower. I personally think it's the queen of all flowers. Other people say roses, other people say jasmine is. Tuberose to me is the kick-ass flower of all flowers. It's white, it's gorgeous, it's heady, it's, it's like a signature, it's, I was gonna say significant, that's not the right word. It is, what's the word I'm looking for? Help. I'll think of it in a minute, I'll probably burst it out in a, in a minute when I'm talking about something else. But anyway, how it smells on your skin. Tuberose is the star of the show, obviously, if you didn't know already. Um, it's quite simplistic in its way. Like I said before, tuberose can be really heavy and overbearing, um, even though I love it. This is the cleanest, freshest, almost most natural smelling tuberose perfume I've ever smelled in my life. And I've tried quite a few because I always go to all the tuberose perfumes and smell them. I think it was meant to be that I picked this up in a shop. I'm gonna spray some on my neck now and bathe in its gorgeousness. Tuberose fan, right here. Um, yeah, gorgeous white floral. If you are not a fan of white florals anyway, or florals in general, maybe try this out because it's not screechy in any way. It just feels just a little, that little bit more natural. It's got that spark of something, like I'm smelling the real flower, as opposed to smelling an essential oil or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, the pink pepper in it is very understated. Pink pepper is quite a light spice anyway. It smells like pepper, obviously, but it's a little bit, it's got a bit more of a tang to it. It is not nose tingly like black pepper is. Pink pepper is the softer version of black pepper, basically. So this is creamy, luscious tuberose that has a very fresh spark to it and it smells very natural. Um, and the pink pepper just gives it a little bit of a zing. It's really, really gorgeous. It's so good. It stays really linear on me, which I'm thankful for, because sometimes you want your perfume, well I do, to not develop. Sometimes you like the way it smells. I, I say you, I mean we, as a people. Sometimes you like the way it smells when it's wet, and sometimes the dry down can be disappointing in fragrances. Some of my favorite fragrances have a really disappointing dry down. So, this one stays how it is, and that's why I really like it. Simplistic, clean lines, tuberose done really, really well. Um, if you're not used to florals, you might, or if you're not used to tuberose, I should say, you might find this to be way loud. But let me tell you, there are bigger, badder beasts out there. This one is puppy dog compared to some of them. So, yeah, it lasts a really long time on me. I would say about six hours which for nowadays is really good. The sillage is incredible. I wore this when I went to the theatre recently and when I got onto the underground and when the tubes come in, sometimes the wind really picks up and I was really aware of people down the platform just going like this. So I know that was wind obviously taking it down there, but it, yeah, it's got a gorgeous sillage and I absolutely love it. There's not really much to say about it, only because tube rose dominates the whole thing. So I'll end it there. So I'm much from a no, click my logo to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon for another review. Thank you, goodbye.